Hello everyone and welcome to Tab's Classic Bedtime Stories. I'm your host, Tabby, and today we'll be reading The Midsummer Banquet, written and illustrated by John Patience. Okay guys, let's begin. In a few days, it would be time for the Midsummer Banquet to be held at Trundleberry Manor. In his attic, Lord Trundle was rummaging around looking for the candelabras and punch bowl, which he had stored away after the previous year's celebrations. Now where did I put them? He muttered. Perhaps they are in this chest. Opening the chest, he found, amongst many other things, an old engraving of a medieval castle, Fern Hollow Castle. That's rather odd, muttered Lord Trundle. There's no castle in Fern Hollow these days. It must have fallen into ruins many years ago. But this gives me an idea. This year, we will have a medieval Midsummer Banquet, and everyone can come in medieval costume. Lord Trundle lost no time in sending out the invitations, and soon everyone in the village was talking about the banquet. Mr. and Mrs. Thimble, the Fern Hollow tailors, were kept extremely busy making the medieval costumes, and the lights in their windows burnt late into the night. When at last the clothes were finished, the animals came to try them on. You would hardly have recognized Brock Gruffy, Mr. Bouncer, or Mrs. Willowbank in their costumes. They looked splendid. The morning before the banquet, Lord Trundle decided that he would visit Mr. Crackleberry, who would be doing the catering. He was driving along in his car when a thick mist came down. Unable to see where he was going and still thinking that he was on the road, he drove down a narrow trail into Windy Wood. After some time, the trail vanished and Lord Trundle's car got stuck in the mud. Then the poor fox had to get out and struggle along on foot. Suddenly, the mist began to clear, and to his surprise, Lord Trundle found himself standing in front of Fern Hollow Castle. Lord Trundle's footsteps echoed noisily, disturbing some bats which fluttered around his head. They gave him quite a fright. At the top of the stairs was a heavy wooden door. He opened it and entered a dusty little room filled with suits of armor and other interesting things. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew in through the window and slammed the door shut. Lord Trundle tried to open it, but it was locked. He was trapped. As soon as it was realized that Lord Trundle was missing, P.C. Hoppet organized a search party to find him. The clever policeman quickly deducted what had happened and the search party followed the tracks of Lord Trundle's car into Windy Wood. When at last they arrived at the castle, they found the fox waving from the castle window and shouting for help. The search party had come well equipped and a strong rope was quickly thrown up to Lord Trundle. Tie one end of it to the door handle, instructed PC Hobbit, then climb down. Lord Trundle was not accustomed to climbing down ropes, but with the encouragement of his friends, he managed to lower himself safely down to the ground. When he had recovered from his ordeal, he announced that he had had a brilliant idea. Let's hold the Midsummer Banquet here at the castle, he said. It's the perfect place for it.
A great deal of work was put into the preparations for the banquet. Lots of fairy lights were hung in the trees around the castle, and Mr. Chips made an enormous wooden table big enough for all the animals to sit around. On the night of the banquet, everyone turned up in their medieval costumes, carrying lanterns. There was even medieval music supplied by Sigmund Swamp, who played a lute and sang a few little songs which he had written. Finally, an enormous bonfire was lit, and there was wonderful firework display with rockets flying up into the night sky to burst into flowers of colored sparks above the ruins of the castle. It was a really wonderful evening, one which the fern hollow animals will remember for a long, long time. And that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed the Midsummer Banquet Tales from Fern Hollow. And I hope y'all do come back very soon to Tab's Classic Bedtime Stories. Okay, guys. Good night.